And for more on Africa's trading industry, we now bring in Jude Moore. He's a senior policy fellow at the Center for Global Development. Jude, thanks so much for joining us. I want to start by asking you, how have economic and trade ties between China and Africa strengthened in recent years? And where are the sectors for mutual cooperation? For example, Chinese imports of commodities like crude oil and copper have largely driven up trade. Thanks, thanks again for having me. It's a pleasure being here, Karina. I think first, uh, you know, as your reporter noted, for the last, uh, since 2009, China has been the continent's largest trade partner. But in the beginning of that relationship, it was predominantly commodities, right? I mean, minerals, uh, crude oil. But that's changed, especially uh, in 2021 at the China-Africa Forum, the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation. China then pledged to import up to $300 billion worth of African products. And one of the ways to do that was to establish these green lanes that allow African agricultural products to come into the Chinese market. And that changed. So the, the relationship between China and Africa has evolved over time, and we're entering a different period now. And just how much Chinese investment is there in Africa? By that, I mean, you know, which countries there are the biggest recipients of Chinese goods and funds? And then how beneficial is a strong alliance between the two regions? Well, first, you have to understand that outside of uh, the EU 27, China is, is, is the continent's largest trade partner in everything, right? It, it's con Chinese consumer goods but uh, in African minerals. But so some of the countries that are, are really dominant in the relationship, of course, would be Angola. Part of that is because of the crude oil. Um, and then we have South Africa. South Africa is uh, one of the most significant uh, uh, trade partners. Kenya is also an important trade partner. But because of these green lanes, you're beginning to see an expansion. So for example, the, the expo is being held in Hunan province. And Hunan has basically tried to establish itself as the hub for Africa trade. Right? So it, it was one of the first provinces to introduce the green lanes, making it easier for African uh, agricultural products to enter China. So we've seen a 16 times increase in African products entering China on year on year between last year and this year. Mainly, we're talking chilies from, from Rwanda. We're talking uh, tea and avocados from Kenya. We're talking natural rubber. So there is now an expansion so that it's not just a few countries that are benefiting from the relationship, but a, a whole range of different African countries. And Jude, what are some of the biggest challenges in your mind, both short term and long term, to expanding trade opportunities between both regions? And Africa has a huge amount of debt issues, for one thing. I think generally what comes up is infrastructure, right? So there's this very, the, 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 the difficulty of moving from one African country, especially land and um, road transport infrastructure. But you will also note that over the last 20 years, a significant portion of Chinese investment on the continent, Chinese lending to the continent, has gone to infrastructure. So infrastructure remains uh, an, an issue. The second thing is, as um, you, the, one of the interviewees noted, you have 54 different countries, 54 separate policies, 54 separate rules. And so sometimes it's difficult to scale. And that's a difficulty for Chinese uh, firms looking to do business on the continent. But because of the Africa continental free trade area, you're seeing the continent moving toward a point where some of those things can be taken care of. But this is, this is an important thing, because China's relationship with Africa is so multifaceted. It's an infrastructure where the continent has weaknesses in infrastructure. It is expanding access to the Chinese market for African products and agricultural products. So we're seeing the, the relationship evolve, but in a positive way. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Great insight. Thank you so much, Jude Moore. Thanks for having me.